Yes. Uh, coming on this, Michael, um, and I would agree with Jesse on that point that U.S. has gone back in time. One view certainly is that this is the failure of the system to act more democratically. And I've been looking at certain surveys which are suggesting that this, uh, in which women in U.S. are certainly talking about how their authority and right over their own bodies have been taken away. So we, those are just tired talking points. I can tell you as a 23-year practicing attorney, which I am, that um, the Roe v. Wade decision um, and then the Dobbs decision that just came out overturning Roe did not make abortion illegal. In fact, abortion is legal in almost every state in the United States right now. About 10 states have, have uh, prohibited it. Um, overturning Roe, what happened here in the United States, just lets each state set their own policy. It's called democracy. So in Ohio, we elect our governor, we elect our members of our government, and we can sit down and set our own policy. If states like New York and California want to allow abortion during the ninth month of pregnancy, they can. And in fact, they do. Right now in the state of New York, um, a woman can have an abortion who's nine months pregnancy. That's horrific. And that's scary and sad. And we're not going to do that here in the great Buckeye state. We're going to sit down because overturning Roe just lets us decide. So instead of having a federal uh, law, each state gets to set their own policy. And in Ohio, we're going to be better than New York. But Michael, isn't it tragic and even cruel? Yeah, well, you know, I, I don't think it makes a woman a more woman because she can abort her child. I, I don't know where this warped sense of feminism comes from. But in the country of India, um, you guys, the, the people of India can set their own policies. And who are Americans to tell Indians what to do? And who are um, residents of India to tell America what to do? We're our own independent country, as you guys are. So you can do what you think's best in India, and we'll do what we think's best in the United States. But make no mistake overturning Roe v. Wade does not make abortion illegal, but we just get to decide as people. Instead of unelected judges on the court, we the people, pure democracy, get to decide. And that's the best thing. That's why we fought in so many wars to protect our democracy. So we have the right to vote. We have the right to set our own policies, as opposed to letting unelected judges. For the past 50 years, Roe v. Wade has been on the books hmm. saying that there was a so-called constitutional right to an abortion, which there's nothing in the Constitution that says that. What just happened a couple months ago with the overturning of Roe is the court said it's up to the people to decide on the issue of abortion, not unelected judges. That's not democracy. That's not the way our country was formed. It's we the people get to decide those issues. And, and that's again, that's a very stupid idea of democracy then, Jasmine. In the United if, States if of America you, that allow abortion during the ninth month of pregnancy. If, and if that's what they want to do, that's up to them. In Ohio, we are going to do things different and we're going to end abortion and protect women and their children. And what kind of democracy is it if it doesn't give its significant population the right over their own bodies? And then, you know, it's a very skewed idea, I would certainly